Welcome everyone to Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs on Mother's Day. ESPN Baseball tonight, Sunday Night Countdown, a showdown between Christian Yelich's Brewers and all their fans that have showed up. And of course, the Chicago Cubs who've made a living with the walk-off homer. Three in their last five games. John Lester on the mound. Chris Bryant's offense has returned. Look what he has done since April 26th. And of those three walk-offs, he has had one of them. Lester's numbers this year are incredible. And Buster only has an amazing story about John Lester and his mom. There is Christian Yelich with a shout out to Alicia, his mom, with a t-shirt. And he has been the MVP front runner this season, leading the Milwaukee Brewers to the top of the National League Central. It has been the Brewers and the Cubs along with the Cardinals. This is baseball tonight, Sunday Night Countdown. We are presented by Chevrolet and we are on the road where it feels like November, not May 12th here in Chicago. Tim Kirkshin, Mark Teixeira joining me as we lead things off. And my goodness, have the offense shown up today once again. Who do you want to start with? A lot of double digit runs scored by teams. The Astros. 15 runs. Right. George Springer, two homers today, 29th career leadoff homer. He's in the MVP race in the American League. He sure is. Bregman with another huge game. We'll talk much more about that. They got to like the ninth inning of the Yankees and Rays, and of all places to have a delay, Tampa. On getaway day, the one place where you can't have a delay, Carl. Power went out, not for the Yanks, they win again. Mike Trout, ding dong, ninth home run of the season. Right. He hit a homer for his biggest fan the other day, and then followed it up with another one today. Paul Goldschmidt, welcome to the Double Digit Club. He hit his 10th home run this season, and what a seesaw battle Pirates and Cardinals got going. His first homer since April 22nd. He's due to get really hot. Huge comeback for the Pirates, and welcome, everyone. This is where we are located, just off the third baseline as we get set for the National League Central Showdown between the Brewers and the Cubs. That is Tim. That is Mark. I'm Carl Ravitz. Thanks for joining us. And... Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there who play such a significant role, not only when you're growing up and learning the game, but throughout the course of life. Great stuff from Jeremy Jeffress, who joined us on SportsCenter to talk about that. Yes, you'll see pink bats, you'll see a lot of pink shirts. Bases will have some pink on them. That is all a tribute to Major League Baseball's efforts to make sure we remember moms on this Mother's Day. All of a sudden, the Dodgers, who have Kershaw and Bueller, the and best serious. pitcher is Jinjin Ryu. Moms throw out the first pitch in L.A., and Ryu was incredible. Maybe one run would be enough. His last two starts, 17 innings, one earned run. That was coming into this game, and maybe the sack fly would be enough. <laughs> And we, don't, we can't forget how good Ryu was last year, but he didn't qualify for the ERA title, but he had a great year. And he had it going early on here. After Seager drove in the run, Ryu gets Dozier, he gets Michael Taylor, he gets Juan Soto. He's got a no-hitter through four. As you watch him, are you noticing anything different? No, not, nothing different, but this is a guy who mixes up his pitches, and he goes after hitters. He, he goes deep into ball games because he can throw every pitch in the strike zone. These aren't nasty pitches, but he's getting lazy fly balls and ground balls and some strikeouts because he's mixing his pitches so well. Last time I saw something like a hitter send a ball like Strasburg does into right and get thrown out at first. Might have been Orlando Cepeda. This keeps the no-hitter going. He's out. 9-3. I saw Larry Walker do that a couple times and it's usually to a pitcher. And that just shows how analytics is helping even these type of plays. I mean, when's the last time you saw a pitcher get thrown out at first base? But Bellinger is playing it like deep second base. Yes. It's perfect. Exactly. We'll keep you posted on the no-hitter. Don't go anywhere. We'll make sure we get you updated. That one's in the seventh inning. A couple of good stories. Cole Irvin, he makes his major league debut. Sandy, his mom's in the crowd. This is a contact pitcher. He was great in AAA. They're in a big ballpark, and he's a lefty for Philly. Right, and that's rare lefty for a Philly to start a game. Vince Velasquez went on the injured list. Irvin came up and threw very well today. All right, so it's 1-0 Kansas City. Gene Segura to center. Great sign for the Phillies. Segura's cooled off a little bit since his hot start, but if he gets going again, this Phillies team is going to be really tough to beat. They walk Harper to load the bases. They walk Reese Hoskins. The Phillies lead it 2-1. We'll see the Brewers go to Philadelphia you tomorrow night, 7 Eastern time on ESPN. Boy, you mentioned Segura. How about Rio Muto? 
their offense is so much better than it was last year, and their defense is getting better, which that had to happen. Next batter up after they've opened it up to a 4-1 lead, Odebel Herrera. Don't those pink bats just look good going through the zone? I mean, even like lazy singles look sexy. <laughs> Phillies win the series over the Royals. They win the game 6-1. Again, we'll see them tomorrow night. Braves and the Diamondbacks. Ender and Ciarte didn't hit it hard. Exit Velo, you know, about 14 miles an hour, but it's fine. A run <laughs> scores. And he's in the game usually for his glove. He's been losing a few at bats lately, but that's a big hit for Ciarte. Zach Granke, Zach Granke, pinch hitter, and he delivers. He's a really good athlete, great basketball player, really good hitting pitcher, Crazy. and a tremendous fielding pitcher too. He hits a base hit to left. Adam Jones. Ronald Acuna Jr. Go get it, big fella. Oh, tough play, even in the ballpark that he's unfamiliar with makes the play. And Acuna gets paid for his bat, but that glove definitely helps. All right, let's go to the top of the third, Johan Camargo. That's good into right field. Both runners are gonna score, and the Atlanta Braves go up by a score of three. See, the NL East is really interesting. Like, none of the teams are playing great, but the race is great. Well, it's a very competitive league. I'm not division, I'm not sure it's a great division, but four teams are gonna be in it for a long time. Braves four, Diamondbacks three. Here are the standings, and you get a look at where the Braves are, 20 and 20. The Mets under 500. The Nationals in real trouble, and right now in trouble when it comes to Hijun Ru, perhaps pitching a no-hitter. More on that in a moment. Let's bring in our Baseball Tonight insider, Jeff Passan. Jeff, happy Mother's Day. And we have two teams in this division that are about to face each other seven times in the next 10 games. Davey Martinez, Mickey Calloway. Is the seat getting warm here? Yeah, I mean, those seven out of 10 games, Ravi, could potentially determine one of their jobs. I know we've been talking a lot lately about who's on the hot seat, and those are clearly the two. With Davey Martinez, this dates back to last year. I mean, Dusty Baker had, had taken the Nationals to a division championship, lost his job. Davey Martinez comes in. They underachieve. This is reminiscent of Matt Williams' tenure in Washington. There were clear problems in that first year. They gave him a, a full second year, and he did not improve upon them. We're still waiting to see Davey Martinez flip that switch and make the Nationals as good as their talent is. The Mets, on the other hand, you know, some of the acquisitions this offseason from Brody Van Wagenen, whether it's Robinson Cano, whether it's Jed Lowry, who we still haven't seen yet, Keon Broxton, uh, Wilson Ramos, just have not been producing. Now, can you blame Mickey Calloway for that? Maybe so, maybe not, but he had a meeting earlier this week with Brody Van Wagenen and Jeff Wilpon. They didn't say, hey, Mickey, you need to turn things around, but anytime you're having a meeting in May, it is getting pretty serious. No doubt. Jeff, stay with us. We'll have more from you in a moment. Uncomfortable conversations, especially since it's May 12th, but, guys, that's the fact of reality, especially when you get a new baseball head who's running things and maybe Callaway wasn't his guy and yet if you're Mickey Callaway and you're in a meeting and they say we got to turn things around don't you think he walks away saying you don't think I know that <laughs> yeah Mickey knows that and and also listen it's not Mickey Callaway's fault that Noah Syndergaard is performing right. or Wilson Ramos isn't performing I'm not a big believer of putting a lot of blame on managers early in a season you have guys that are injured you have guys that are coming back especially for the Nationals once the Nationals get healthy once the Mets once yes. their pitching settles down a little bit then we could look at the managers and see if they're pressing the right buttons. I think it's way early to be putting pressure on these managers. Yes, if the Nationals, when they get Trey Turner back and they finally get healthy and they still don't turn it around and they're seven games out at the end of July or ten games out, then it's time to look in another direction. I All think right. they will. Yeah, and it's not as if Philadelphia or any other team is running away with that division. Those teams are still very much in what is a sub-500 race. Back to the potential no-hitter, Ryu. First Seventh inning, two down. Rendon, left field, and deep. And playable. Woo! 98 pitches. He is six outs away from a no-hitter. He's got like 24 innings and eight hits that he's allowed. One earned run his last three starts. Chuck Nasty get into it. Where'd Chuck Nasty go to college, Carl? I'm going Georgia Tech. Bam! Over. That is a bomb. <laughs> Boom! Chuck Nasty, the ex-yellow jacket. He's heating up, boys. <laughs> That's the Rockies, by the way, who are playing in the snow this weekend. The snow! They got snowed out the other day, and Charlie Blackman got off to a really slow start power-wise, but he's got his power swing back. 
He's got eight homers. He's one of a handful of guys that hit two home runs today. A lot of multiple home run guys. As we continue on baseball tonight, the American League East will get into the Red Sox, who are red hot, the Yankees, who are banged up, and the Trop, who can't keep the power on. In baseball, every move matters. Each action, each player impacts the next. This season, when there is a stolen base opportunity, StatCast AI powered by AWS will calculate and analyze thousands of data points per second in real time to predict the probability of a successful stolen base. Throw the second, not in time, he's safe! See how AI technology will give you new insights into the game. Who? MLB fans, what? Need more accuracy in the game, but how? Backed by AWS, StatCast AI uses a missile radar system. That wasn't just a strike, Chief. It was a strike with a spin rate of 2,335 RPMs. Dropping knowledge like a baseball bounce. With the most functionality and experience, AWS is how companies like Major League Baseball build on. Huge mistake. Kevin Harvick. Choose Mobile One Synthetic instead. It protects engines better than conventional motor oil. Really? Seriously. It keeps engines in excellent condition for over 250,000 miles. You expect me to believe a paid spokesman? Well, how about an unpaid spokesman? I'm not getting paid for this? You are. Get 250,000 miles of protection. Upgrade to Mobile One. Gatorade Zero. All the electrolytes, zero sugar. Get more out of zero. My name is Bailey, but it's also Molly and Big Dog and Max. Even when we have to leave you, we're still around. We just look a little different. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> A Dog's Journey. Rated PG in theaters Friday. Cole, appreciate you recommending these stormproof windows. No problem. I'm always thinking ahead. Clutch, no! My remote! Look under the couch! You look under the couch! The windows still look good. <laughs> this is a payday bar, and there's only one thing you need to know about it. It has a truckload of peanuts surrounding sweet caramel. I mean, holy yeah. look at all those peanuts. Best part is it helps you get through your day. Payday. Get to it. Now I'm thinking I'd like to retire early. Let's talk about this when we meet next week. Edward Jones came to manage a trillion dollars in assets under care by focusing our mind on whatever's on yours. This Mother's Day, show your love with a gift from the Love and Be Loved Collection by Kay, a symbol of your inseparable bond. It's where together meets forever. Now save 30% store-wide, exclusively at Kay. Need a change of scenery? Kayak searches hundreds of travel sites and lets you see how your baggage will affect the cost of your flight so you can be confident you're getting the right flight at the best price. Kayak. Search one and done. Who? MLB fans. What? Need more accuracy in the game. But how? Backed by AWS, StatCast AI uses a missile radar system. That wasn't just a strike, Chief. It was a strike with a spin rate of 2,335 RPMs. Dropping knowledge like a baseball bounce. With the most functionality and experience, AWS is how companies like Major League Baseball build on. Baseball Tonight, Sunday Night Countdown, is presented by Chevrolet.
find new roads. And in part by Kayak. Search one and done. All right, wake up, people. The Red Sox are back, dealing with the Mariners who outscored them in the first four games of the season, 34-24. In this series, the Red Sox scored 34 runs. Right, and in the first 19 games of the season, the Red Sox were outscored by 42 runs. The last 22, they've outscored their opponents by 69 runs. One of the reasons, Tex, you like this guy's swing, Michael Oh, Chavis? my gosh, I love this swing. He stays in the zone so well. I mean, this isn't much right here. This is a little pop-up down the line. One of the reasons that the Mariners have stunk lately is because their defense has been atrocious. Red Sox lead it 2-1 off of the Mariner miscue. Wet and dreary, as you can see at Fenway Park. Wet and dreary in a lot of places. That's a better, more indicative hit from Chavis. Yeah, Chavis, he hits the ball all over the ballpark. He's got a lot of power. You know, he's not a real tall guy, so he's got a short, compact swing. I like this young player. Not done yet. And he's playing second base for a guy that generally is a third baseman. And Pedroia was supposed to start a rehab assignment, and the knee still bothering him. And in this day and age, you can take a non-second baseman and put him in second as long as he rakes. And that kid can rake. Brewers have done the same thing. You'll see Moustakis. Here's Blake Snell. He's back on the bump, which is a good sign. Highest swing and miss rate for any pitcher since 2018. Ursula. Frazier and Duhar. And in the first few innings, it looked like Blake Snell was going to throw a shutout. He was incredible. And the Yankees finally caught up to some of his pitches later in the game. Those 10 swings and missed strikeouts in four innings. The only guy to have done that in the last 10 years is that guy, Masahiro Tanaka. Tommy Pham didn't swing. Kiermaier's up. Split piece working. Whew. And that's the pitch that Tanaka has been known for his entire career. That splitter that he can throw on the corners, he can throw for strikes, and he can throw in the dirt for a swing and a miss. Tanaka pitched really well today. Good look in our 3D K zone as to just how far outside it was, but yet inside the K zone. That's Mike Talkman. And Talkman's been one of those guys that you did not expect to carry the load, but he's had some really good at-bats, some really big games for the Yankees. They need it with all the injuries in the outfield. Luke Voigt's been great. So has DJ LeMayhew. Right, he's hit 400 since the end of April. He's been one of the best hitters in the league again this year, which shouldn't be a surprise. He won a batting title in Colorado. Snell, two runs, five and two-thirds. He struck out a dozen, but no offense. It's 2 nothing Yankees. And then, of course, the power decided to go out at the top. <laughs> I'm going to hope that there was lightning in the area and it hit a transformer somewhere because you cannot have a 43-minute delay on getaway day at the drop. It happened. Tyro Estrada, first batter after that near-hour delay. Solo shot. It's 4-1. Apparently, the Yankees all went to the batting cages during the 43-minute rain delay because they raked when they got back. And Urshela was 0 for 4 with four strikeouts <laughs> before this. The last thing you want to do in a game where you win and you score a lot of runs is be the guy that goes 0 for 5. They scored 4 in the ninth. They beat the Rays 7 to 1. And all of a sudden, it feels like the American League East has turned back to what you would have thought it would have been with the Red Sox sweeping Seattle. Mentioned the 34-24 first series of the year. They outscored them 34 to 8. They've scored almost eight runs a game in May. Good news for the Yankees. Hicks is coming back and bad news for the Rays. Tyler Glasnow, four to six weeks. Some tightness in that right forearm. It could be worse, but do you sense I hate to say that the world is back on its axis with the way the Red Sox and Yankees are playing, but that was the expectation. Absolutely. You look at the Red Sox last year. They had a historically great season. Not a lot changed from their team. So to think that they were going to go, you know, uh, you know, 30 games under 500 and, and be a last place team, that's just crazy. They needed some time to get their you know, legs under them. They had a long, you know, season last year going to the World Series. And now this is the Red Sox team yeah. that everyone saw last year. And maybe they didn't pitch enough in spring, but... Maybe they did if this is what it's going to lead to, and then you keep it going. Well, they pitched a lot better, but as we said, they've outscored their opponents by over three runs a game over the last 22 games. That's significant. The Tyler Glass now injury, oh. you know, mild forearm is four to six weeks. Let's hope for their yes. sake it's nothing worse than that. All right, let's bring our baseball tonight insider Jeff Passon back in on this. Is that how you see the American League East, and is there anything sort of bubbling under the surface that would impact these three teams or this race? You know, Ravi, I'm not counting out the Rays yet. They were so good over the first five, six weeks of the season that even without Tyler Glasnow, I think that their depth 
is solid. They are missing Brent Honeywell, though. He's coming back from Tommy John surgery. He's had a nerve issue, has been shut down. This is going to be a real test, maybe the first real test, guys, for the Rays. After this week, when they have three days off, they are going to be playing 34 games in 34 days and up to the All-Star break, 47 games in 48 days. Going to be a huge test on their pitching and that bullpen that throws so many innings especially. Isn't it amazing how that seems to happen? You get the guys injured, and all of a sudden you're playing 34 games in 34 days. All right, Jeff, thanks. Well, the Red Sox are rolling, and by the way, the Astros today were a joke. George Springer and Alex Bregman had an unbelievable day at the top of the order. Right, Jose Altuve went on the, D on the injured list, and they said, all right, we're going to make up for our great little second baseman and another great day for Alex Bregman. Bregman hit his 11th, and then Bregman, like so many others today, hit another one. And his mom, who tends to be there, All-Star Games, World Series, she's there today and got a chance to appreciate her son. And this is one of my favorite guys to watch play the game. He loves playing. He loves these big situations. Mother's Day, mom's there. Pink bat, pink socks, hitting tanks. <laughs> Springer, Dinger, his second home run of the game. He's got 15 homers this year to lead the league. And over 35 RBIs, hitting over 300. Quite a year so far. All right, and we got another great story. Corbin Martin makes his major league debut on the mound. Kid who grew up about a half hour from Minute Maid, went to Texas A&M. He struck out nine. He gave up two runs on three hits, and his family was there to watch this, too. What a great story, both in Philadelphia and Houston where guys made their debuts in front of their moms and they were great good stuff here are the Indians they're taking on the A's Carlos Santana big fly hang them and bang them to right significant offensive issues for the Indians this year so when they get anything going that's a good sign Lindor he's in Santana is at second the Indians are up one zip Roberto Perez comes up to the plate game tied at two in the sixth inning and we have a liftoff. And Roberto Perez is one of those guys that has to step up, as we talked about, especially in the outfield, getting no offense in Cleveland. And you saw how excited he was, his teammates on that first baseline. A big shot here for Cleveland. 5-3, the Indians over the A's. That one is still being played top of the seventh inning. Major League Baseball is always live. MLB at bat. Follow your favorite team's action with game tracking, video highlights, along with up-to-the-moment stats, standings, news, and more. Get the number one app for live baseball. Download MLB at bat today. And, man, have the folks showed up, and they believe this team is back. Cub Pride back in Chicago. It is way up the bleachers. Hi, I'm Anthony Rizzo. Hey, I'm Albert Amore. Hi, I'm Cole Hamels. Hi, I'm Kyle Schwarber. Hi, I'm Chris Bryant. Bryant drives one in the air. Home run! Chris Bryant with a game winner. Hayward hits a fly ball to deep left field. It's got a chance! Got win! How about that? You're watching. You're watching. And you're watching. You're watching. Baseball tonight. Baseball tonight. Baseball tonight. And you're watching baseball tonight. Mr. Grantham, this is OnStar. The police have your vehicle. Thank you so much. Huge mistake. Kevin Harvick. Choose Mobile One Synthetic instead. It protects engines better than conventional motor oil. Really? Seriously. It keeps engines in excellent condition for over 250,000 miles. You expect me to believe a paid spokesman? Well, how about an unpaid spokesman? I'm not getting paid for this? You are. Get 250,000 miles of protection. Upgrade to Mobile One. Staying at Hampton for a work trip. When your flight gets in late, it's never too early for coffee. Oh, no, no, no. Your new boss seems cool, but she might not be sweatpants cool. Who is that ready this early? It's only 7 a.m. Somebody help me. <laughs> Close call. Not quite ready to face the day? That's why we're here with free hot breakfast and a warm welcome. Book at Hampton.com for our price match guarantee. Hampton by Hilton.
This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. And he has subscriptions to a music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry all set to watch the next game. This is Wells Fargo. Before opening day, the crew at T-Mobile Park made countless calls, getting everything ready for baseball. A trucker used his GPS to make sure the new signs got there in time. And the grounds crew sent 17 texts to double check every detail. But when the sun set, they put down their phones and gave the game to the people who loved it most. I'm gonna let you in on my little chocolate peanut butter secret. The secret? You don't have to be living Atkins like me to love their bars. There's crispy lemon, vanilla pecan crisp, and like my chocolate peanut butter, they're all rich in protein, lower in net carbs, with no added sugar. Some of those other bars, if you're not careful, over 20 grams of sugar. And sugar is the enemy of protein. So give Atkins a try. You don't need a secret handshake. Just choose your bar wisely. Here's the thing about this game. It doesn't matter who you are, how big, or how small. It doesn't matter where you live, or where you come from. It's everyone's game. Nice, nice. I'm 40, Joseph. Yeah. If you want to play, <laughs> you can play. Your team's waiting at playball.org. You want binge-worthy? In the Eastern Conference Finals on TNT, more is more. There's a marathon ahead of us. Game after game. The intensity of the playoffs. Night after night. Oh! Inside after inside. It's the highest-rated show in television history. <laughs> Bucks and Raptors battle for Eastern Conference supremacy. Well, the game's going to get tougher and tougher. Everything's on the line. Binge-worthy. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals on TNT. This is Lulu and Lobo. Come on, I need you to be my eyes, Lobo. You got it. And just a reminder, you are my best friend. Focus. We are here to secure a new place. With a yard? Copy. With as low as 3% down on a fixed-rate mortgage, your new home is within reach. Oh, someone just grabbed your hand. I'm going to bark. I'm going to bark. Oh, no, wait. It's a handshake. It's happening. I want to live that unleashed life, Lobo. I want to live that unleashed life. Oh, let's barbecue. Talk to a home mortgage consultant or apply online. This is your way home. This is Wells Fargo. You're watching baseball tonight, Sunday night countdown. We are on the road. We're live at Wrigley. It is presented by Chevrolet. Tim Kirch and Mark Deschere and Carl Ravage. Yinjin Ryu with a no-no going against the Nats. We're in the eighth. We got one down. Oh, Slice down. and down goes the no-no. And this Gerardo, not, yeah, Gerardo Parr hit a grand slam yesterday to win that game. Breaks up the no-hitter here. Now we'll see if the Ryu and bullpen can hang on here. It's two zip, tying run of the plate. Pirates and the Cardinals, the ageless one, Yadier Molina. And of course, on Mother's Day, the pink out, so he's all adorned in pink. Paul Goldschmidt, three zip, not anymore, three two. April 22nd, his last home run, and again, he's a streaky guy the last couple of years. If he gets hot, he can carry that club. It's like Carlos Martinez may be coming back soon for the St. Louis Cardinals. This is Jose Martinez, liftoff to left. And if you want to talk about the epitome of a 2019 swing, look at that bat kick. Look at how he sells out and just hits a tank here. Good call. How come the Pirates are able to come back? Well, Josh Bell hit one into the Allegheny on the fly earlier this week, and this thing is hammered. It's a line drive over the right field wall there. That's a top spinner. I used to like hitting those, Carl. Career high five RBIs for Bell, who had four hits and four at bats. Adam Frazier, Francisco Cervelli, Melky Cabrera would score. You think they respected Adam Frazier? Where were they playing? <laughs> they were playing shallow, and he said not today. Pirates 20 and 17. They just hang around. They get a win there. T-Mobile now connecting 99% of baseball fans. Catch America's game on America's network.
And of course, this is Mother's Day. Join baseball in the fight against breast cancer. In seeking a cure for this all too pervasive disease, we stand with the countless individuals affected each year. Visit mlbcommunity.org to learn more. And all week long, you've seen the incredible letters that the athletes have written to their moms. But we have one now, Fernando Tatis Jr. with a letter to his mother. Dear mom, there aren't enough words to describe what you have done for me in this life, for the love that you have shown me, for bringing me in the right path every single day. I just want you to enjoy your day so we, the one that love you, can show you that we love you even more. So enjoy your day, mom. Thank you for always being there. And every day you see me on the field wearing pink, that means you're always with me. So, love you, Mom. Feliz Dia de la Madre. Dime la hora, mi amor. Ah, gracias, Franco. Oh. <laughs> that was good. That was great. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Terrific stuff there. Jeff Passan joins us now. So he lit the world on fire when he was playing. When do we expect Fernando Tatis Jr. back? 300 batting average, 550 slugging, going into the hole and making unbelievable plays. And the hamstring injury, Ravi, that has kept him out is finally healing. They were hoping the San Diego Padres to get him back by the middle of the week. Wednesday was the original target. Not quite sure that that's going to be the case. But if he does come back, it's likely to be when they're at home, either against Pittsburgh at the end of the week or Arizona going into next week. It's going to be soon, and the Padres are going to get a whole lot better with Fernando Tatis Jr. back in that lineup. No doubt about it. They have played great with him. They played pretty good without him. We'll come back. We'll get into what stood out for us this week and take a look at the images of the week. May 12th, Mother's Day, baseball tonight on the road. still thinking about opening your own shop every day i think there are some ways to help keep you on track closer to home edward jones grew to a trillion dollars in assets under care by thinking about your goals as much as you do something's happened to me something i can't stop and it scares me it feels good <laughs> Jean's still our friend. She's not Jean anymore. The girl dies. Are you threatening me? Because that would be a bad idea. Dark Phoenix, Woody PG-13, June 7th. <laughs> Rated mature. This happens all the time. I'll help take care of it. No, I'll take care of it. What's that? Uh, the budget insurance companies are building these cheap knockoff robots to compete with us. How may I assist you, fine gentlemen? Looks really freaky. One thing is certain. These bots don't have the compassion of a real state farm agent. I have compassion. <laughs> yeah, we, we cool. I am so sorry for your automobile. Boom boy. Boom boy. 
Discover the new language of travel. Bon boy. Marriott Bonvoy. 30 hotel brands, endless experiences. Rewards, reimagine. I'm Paige, and well, the little thing that I like about the grilled chicken sandwich is that it's picture perfect. It's juicy, and it just has all the right combinations. I think I can be considered a grilled chicken sandwich influencer. My name is Frank, and the little thing I like about the grilled chicken sandwich is the first bite. I love how juicy the chicken is, but there's also the tomatoes and the lettuce, and it's incredible. Make sure you get it with waffle fries, because that's my favorite. Exclusively on ESPN Plus, former champion Rafael Dos Anjos takes on the Motown phenom Kevin Lee. Two welterweights go head to head with their sights set on a title shot. Saturday is UFC Fight Night. Dos Anjos versus Lee. Saturday at 8 on ESPN+. Plus. Check out those numbers on your screen, Peloton. Max output. This is going to feel intense, but it will be worth it at that finish line. Metrics that challenge you Let's to go. challenge Let's yourself. Go. Let's go right now. Just one part of the best cardio machine on the planet, Peloton. There's no set path, no way you have to be. So why not do what you've been dreaming of? You've got the power. We've got the tools. Make a website with GoDaddy and put what you want out there. Hey, guy. Welcome to Hims. Should have done it years ago, and I feel like a young stud that I always imagined I was. Outstanding product. Works above and beyond our expectations. Go to 4 slash ed and get started for just five bucks. That one's nice. Car shopping? Not obvious. Try Cargaroos. Every car is rated from great deal to overpriced. The best deals are sorted first. Ooh, look, look up that, that model. Jinx. Car Gurus. Find your great deal today. Welcome back to Baseball Tonight's Sunday Night Countdown presented by Chevrolet. At Wrigley, you can hear the song in the background. We're getting set for a game. Now, the images of the week. This ball is blasted. He joins the 2000 RBI Club. Sheriff gets his 11th strikeout. An immaculate inning from Chris Sale. Dozen strikeouts for Gary Cole. Game spectacular play. Red of Game Saver. Swing out and blast it. With a walk off ball. Bryant drives one in the air. Home run. Chris Bryant with a game winner. Hayward hits a fly ball. The Twins! How about that? Ball game into the bleachers. Sit back, man. Relax, man. No hit baseball for Fires. Dives and he caught it. Everybody on the field is in sellout mode. And he caught it! This one takes the home run away and keeps a no hitter going. And Mike Fires has thrown his second no hitter. The image of the week and back here at Wrigley. It always feels like there's an image waiting to happen. We'll get into those thoughts from Jeff Passan in a moment. What stood out to you? Well, we know how important Chris Sale is to the Red Sox. Yeah. And he started slow. The Red Sox started slow. But on Wednesday, he was unbelievable. 14 strikeouts, eight innings pitched, three hits, one earned run. But more importantly, he looked like Chris Sale. He was throwing upwards of 96 miles an hour, going right after hitters, electric fastball. That's got to make Red Sox fans very happy. And I'll go with Mike Fires. He pitched the second 
no hitter of his career. It's also the second complete game of his career. And I love it that Bob Melvin went to him in the ninth inning and said, look, you're 118. I'm going to leave you in there, but if you're the first sign of trouble, you're getting out, and instead he got one, two, three, and got out of that inning. You can easily no make the case that the dudes that pitched today in front of their moms making their debut stood out, but that was today. This week, how about the Cubs with the three walk-off home runs all in their last five games? Contreras did it, Bryant got involved, Hayward got involved, and for an organization that struggled early and there was this Joe Madden ridiculous conversation of maybe it's time for a change and he can't communicate, didn't make much sense. Jeff Passon, you join us now. What stood out to you? Madison Bumgarner always stands out to me, Ravi, and we now know his 18 no trade list. It's the Astros, the Cardinals, the Cubs, the Braves, the Brewers, the Phillies, the Yankees, and Red Sox. You ask yourself, why would he not want to be traded to those teams? It's all about leverage. And his agents at VC Sports, Steve Veltman and Ed Cerullo, understand that those contending teams are going to want the hottest property on the trade market. That's going to be Madison Baumgartner. His stuff is there. 14 swings and misses today. We are going to be hearing a lot about him between now and July 31st. A lot of leverage with that no trade list. All right, JP, thank you very much. Speaking of Baumgartner, there he is. And there it goes in bat flip, Yasiel Puig flipped him. And Puig hasn't been everything that the Reds thought they were getting, but that ball was a bomb. A more. I mean, he gets his pitch Keeping right the hands there. in right there, Carl. That's nice. Give it to him. There it is. <laughs> that was Tex in the studio last week, <laughs> flipping the bat. A lot of emails flying around around that one. Going, going, gone. How about Joey Gallo? Right, so he's the first guy, obviously, ever to get to 100 career homers with more homers than singles. An amazing number. Gallo's exit below, ridiculous. J.D. Martinez went yard today. 200th home run of his career. A to the Rizzo with the 200th of his career. Remember, he and Bryant weren't hitting? That's changed. First time since August 13th of 04, the Royals had the bases loaded and went yard each time. Right, I covered a game with the Orioles one year. They had two grand slams and lost. Hard to do. This is the Allegheny. This is one of the most impressive home runs you will ever see hit. Josh Bell hits it into the Allegheny River. I believe there's only been four all time that have gone straight into the river on the fly. One was Darrell Ward, I remember that one. That was the last one I remember because I was there. <laughs> Yelly going deep for a while, the Yelly Belly Show. Look at the spray chart for Christian Yelich, 16th of the year. What's the best thing about playing with Christian Yelich? The best thing about Christian Yelich would probably be he has no personality. <laughs> <laughs> None at all. <laughs> He's so dry, but he can play. Holy smokes! Christian Yelich, third deck! He shows up to the field happy and ready to go. Um, he just has great worth ethic, and he's enjoyable to be around. Every day you come to the field, it's like, you know, what's Yelich going to do today? He's an unbelievable baseball player. Yelich is off to a start we have maybe have never seen before. How can anybody be this good? Get up! Get up! Get out of here! Gone for Yelich! I don't know how. But he does it. He's a grinder to an MVP and have a guy want to play every single day, excited to come to the field. That's that's huge. He's a very humble guy. He's hoping to to answer whatever question you got in the moment. We think hopping through good guys and uh, he's one of those guys. What a play by Yelich! Well, they talked all about web gems and moms and playing catch and fielding grounders. How many web gems have moms come up with over the years? Think about that. We'll get to the web gems when we come back. Star. I've contacted help and they're on their way. 
Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to stay with you until help arrives. <sighs> Thank you. That deer just... just came out of nowhere. Now I'm thinking I'd like to retire early. Let's talk about this when we meet next week. Edward Jones came to manage a trillion dollars in assets under care by focusing our mind on whatever's on yours. Huge mistake. Kevin Harvick. Choose Mobile One Synthetic instead. It protects engines better than conventional motor oil. Really? Seriously. It keeps engines in excellent condition for over 250,000 miles. You expect me to believe a paid spokesman? Well, how about an unpaid spokesman? I'm not getting paid for this? You are. Get 250,000 miles of protection. Upgrade to Mobile One. Gatorade Zero. All the electrolytes, zero sugar. Get more out of zero. This is CJ, <laughs> the greatest new addition to our pack. Daddy. But my time was coming to an end. When you come back, take care of CJ. I promise. And then I was back. There's a lot you don't know about that dog. Rated PG. This Mother's Day, show your love with a gift from the Love and Be Loved collection by Kay. A symbol of your inseparable bond. It's where together meets forever. Now save 30% store wide exclusively at Kay. T minus six, five. Four, three, two, one. Ignition. We have a liftoff. Go beyond the ordinary with a taste that shines brighter. Reach for the moon. Need a change of scenery? Kayak searches hundreds of travel sites, even our competitors, so you can be confident you're getting the right flight at the best price. <laughs> Kayak. Search one and done. Who? MLB fans, what? Need more accuracy in the game. But how? Backed by AWS, StatCast AI uses a missile radar system. That wasn't just a strike, Chief. It was a strike with a spin rate of 2,335 RPMs. Dropping knowledge like a baseball bounce. With the most functionality and experience, AWS is how companies like Major League Baseball build on. Hey, Maya. Hey, you're still thinking about opening your own shop? Every day. I think there are some ways to help keep you on track. Closer to home. Edward Jones grew to a trillion dollars in assets under care by thinking about your goals as much as you do. Baseball Tonight, Sunday Night Countdown, is presented by Chevrolet, Find New Roads, and in part by Blue Moon, brewed with Valencia orange peel for a flavorful yet refreshing taste. He's done it again! Get up! Get out of here! Gone for Christian Yellow! Hi, I'm Christian Yelich. Hi, I'm Josh Hader. Hi, I'm Jesus Aguilar. Hi, I'm Lorenzo Cain. Cain measuring it up. He goes! Oh, my goodness! What a catch! And you're watching... And you're watching... you're watching Baseball Tonight. Baseball Tonight. And you're watching Baseball Tonight. Tim Kirchner and me, 6E6F. We're on our way to Philadelphia. David Ross, who's actually been in Chicago this week, will join us. And Aaron Nola's on the mound for the Philadelphia Phillies. Craig Council said TBD on his starting pitcher. We will get into Christian Yelich versus Bryce Harper, given the contract that Harper signed. And the last couple of seasons, Yelich is putting together using statistics, analytics, 
Really interesting conversation coming up tomorrow night. Angels, Tigers, Web Gems of the Week, and Drelton Simmons. One of the great defensive shortstops that we've ever seen, and we know that ball over the shoulder is so difficult for a shortstop. He handled that beautifully. All right, Jerickson profile. Look, Oakland's had some trouble with their defense. He, in particular, that's a heck of a running catch. And it's a great running catch to help save the no-hitter, too. That's what makes this a great play. Fires Same game. Yeah, I don't blame him. He likes this, too, because the best center fielder in baseball, and there are so many of them, this guy comes up with more gems than all of them. Right, and this one saved the no-hitter also, and we've seen him go over the fence before, but not to save Mike Fires' no-hitter. And that's kind of when you know, like, we knew, but we didn't know <laughs> that maybe we were going to have a no-hitter. Great play by Laureano in center. All right, number two, Ranger Strohs. With all the home runs that are hit, you got to figure you're going to have a few of them taken back. And that looked a little bit like what happened in the playoffs last hey, year. Remember yes, that ball did. that Altuve hit, Betts in right field, but there was nobody to get in Josh Reddick's way right there. And I guess catch of the year so far is that this is the catch of the year? Yeah, and because this is a walk-off home run, and he takes it away, <laughs> and he never really slows down and gathers himself. He runs full speed and jumps over the face. And it never makes you think he did anything special. Comes off the wall, lucky yeah, I got it. No biggie. I love the reaction of the Orioles bullpen there. Unbelievable. Statcast, it is AI. It's powered by AWS. Hater, 58% hard hit rate allowed, which is the fourth worst in baseball. I didn't think you could see it, let alone hit it. You know what? Every now and then guys get lucky, but for some reason, Hater has been a little bit more hittable this year. ERA, K's per nine, miss percentage, the bullpen going a little flat this year. Hey, earlier this evening, we got a chance to talk with Jeremy Jeffress during batting practice. Jeremy Jeffress is kind enough to join us here during a Brewers, I guess it's kind of batting practice. Is that what's going on now in the cold and the rain here? I, I guess so. A <laughs> option, little optional BP. Whoever wants to freeze harder. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, it's Mother's Day. I know you've had all sorts of trials and tribulations on your way to where you are now. Explain the role your mom played throughout uh, this whole process. Very big, very big key for me, just because, uh, I mean, me and my dad had a, had a bond that was so tight that he, don't wanna, he didn't want to hear anything that went on with me unless it was great. So me and my mother, we talked day in and day out, each and every morning, about ins, of, ins and out of life, and just, you know, just being a kid and, and playing the game that you love, man. Because every day she just tells me to strive for greatness and don't take nothing for granted. And you've done a little bit more than play baseball. I was reading about the food truck and where yeah. you grew up and how you wanted to spread that. Is that working? And explain to the people at home what that's about. Uh, yeah, my food truck is called JJ's Bread and Butter. Right. Um, it's seafood on wheels. I, it's, it's from a uh, place from back home in my hometown. The guy started it. And he ran it for about 40 years from my hometown, dude. And he was only open for three days out of the week. And it just sold absolutely crazy. So one day I told his son, Alfred, Al, that whenever I make it big, bro, get my money right, we're, we're taking this all over the world. And uh, we're going to make it for good cause. My truck right now is for epilepsy. Yep. You know, something that I'm battling with, too. And, uh, you know, most majority of the proceeds are going to that, man, because that's definitely what I care about. You dealt with childhood epilepsy, and yet that wasn't diagnosed until later in your life. For people who don't know the hurdles that you've jumped over, why don't you share that with them? Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, it's, it's something that I, I, every time I talk about it, dude, it, it just brings tears to my eyes, kind of, because, you know, people don't understand it definitely in this game. It's, it's something that it just I, I struggle with every day, every single day, and I try to, I try to make it through just because, you know, I don't think anybody understands it to the point where you know, I, I, to, the, to the point where it's just like, I don't know where I could be. Right. I don't know what could happen to me, you know, within the next day or so, just because it, I don't know what seizures, you know, do to you. So yep. <clears throat> every day I just try to live my best life and, you know, just play this game the way I know how to play it and just keep living. Jeremy, you've played on a few different teams. Tell me about this Brewers Clubhouse, because it looks like you guys have a blast every single day. <laughs> Take me inside. Are you guys playing music? You playing cards? You playing jokes on each other? What's an everyday Brewers Clubhouse like? It, it, exactly what you just said, jokes in, on jokes on jokes. <laughs> if you're not on top of your game in this clubhouse, you have a problem. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> for sure. But everybody in the clubhouse is definitely <clears throat> there for each other, and that's why we are 
you know, the Milwaukee Brewers Club like this because we're there for each other each and every day. Um, we don't take none of us for granted. We know each and every, uh, how each and every guy works in the clubhouse. And so, you know, we just make sure everybody's comfortable and ready to play the game. Jeremy, how do you get Christian Yelich out? <sighs> Walk him. <laughs> double play. <laughs> yeah. Walk him, That's double a good play. answer. Honestly, man, honestly, if you're a pitcher facing Christian Yelich, I mean, your only option to do is attack him and attack him hard because he's so comfortable up there. You know what I'm saying? He's so comfortable in the box. He knows his plan. You know, and every swing that he takes is not like a, oh, man, I didn't, you know, didn't want to swing at that. It's something that he's, he's looking to do. And if you're a pitcher facing him, man, you just got to attack him, bro. You have to. Hey, man, thanks very much for letting us get to know you a little bit. Yeah. Uh, tell your mom we said happy Mother's Day, and yes, thanks sir. for sharing Thank your story. Thank you, guys, man. I enjoy this. Good guys. luck, Jeremy. Thank you so much. Joe Madden has uh, gone out of his way to inform his players text a little earlier than perhaps he had in the past of when they'd be playing, when they'd get the off day. Anthony Rizzo out with back tightness, so the lineup looks like this tonight. Yeah, you know, great lineup here. You, you, you have Jason Hayward batting leadoff, and he's got an offensive resurgence now. He's feeling really good at the plate, and so if a guy like Rizzo needs a day off, Hayward as a left-handed bat can pick up some of the slack. All right, now it is time for Rays Right. That's brought to you by Jim Beam. We've had Buster only with us, of course, each and every Sunday. He joins us now. I teased at the top a great story about John Lester and his mom, so share that with us. Yeah, that's right. Kathy Lester is known as the tough one in the Lester family. She worked for many years for the Pearson County Road Trip. According to John, she's the one who was laying asphalt. She was digging culverts. And when he was with the Boston Red Sox, she had double surgery uh, for carpal tunnel syndrome. John was concerned about her, saying, Mom, you just need to retire. And her response was, I can't let them win. She wanted to get enough years in where she would get his, her pension. John said, look, I'll give you the thousand plus dollars every month to make up for the pension. And she said, I can't let them win. She came back from that. She did get her 30 years in. Now she retired. I think now you have an idea of where John Lester toughness comes from. No doubt about it, Buster. Look forward to seeing and hearing you during the telecast this evening. That's Buster only. Meantime, when you think about what the Cubs have done here, given the way the Brewers got off to a fast start, what the Cardinals appear to be doing, and Brizzo and Ryan really weren't a big factor. Where do you see the Cubs right now? I think the Cubs are one of the best teams in all of baseball. And, and they're a veteran team. They're confident. They have a leader in Joe Madden that's won a World Series. He knows it's a marathon, not a sprint. I like where the Chicago Cubs are right now. They were 2-7, and seven, and they were terrible the way they played. And yet nobody panicked, which is half the battle here. As for the Milwaukee Brewers and Craig Council, we have them tomorrow night. He doesn't even know who's going to start that game. Maybe it's an opener. Maybe it's somebody else. He's got Yelich obviously hitting number two and having a superstar to this season. Although the home road splits are interesting and with Buster there's more on that. Yeah, Carl, I reminded him of a conversation that you and I had with him in Marlins camp a few years ago and in that conversation, you'll remember this, he thought of the idea of hitting 20 home runs. No way. Not me. And I asked him today, has your self-perception changed? He said, in a word, yes. And of course that really happened in the middle of last year with the changes is hitting mechanics going more straight up and getting the ball in the air cutting his rate of ground balls in half it's a completely different player now one of the best hitters in baseball no doubt about it and he's one of those guys Buster thank you very much Tim and Tex and maybe you can speak to this he likes going into Wrigley he likes going into St. Louis he likes when people boo him he likes sort of being the villain Do you like that yeah I think one of the reasons he set, spent his first few years in relative anonymity in Miami and when you go to a place that you know you're in the playoffs and you become a targeted player because you've won an MVP and your team was one game away from the World Series that's exciting and you can feed off that energy and I had several evaluators tell me along the way, maybe three years ago, Christian Yelich will never hit 20 homers in a season. And he might have 20 by the middle of May this season. That's how much that swing has changed, as Buster said. There's only one guy on the field right now. It's him. Because he's a superstar. He's out there <laughs> for the fans. There's a lot of Milwaukee Brewer fans here. Brewer fans, Cub fans, Cardinals fans. 
interesting division in the National League Central, isn't it? And the Pirates are three over 500. Yeah, it's, I think it's the best division in baseball. At the beginning of the year, I picked three of those teams, St. Louis, Milwaukee, and the Cubs, all to go to the playoffs. And Pittsburgh is showing again. They're a pain in the neck to play. Well, and, and I think that's why when you look at this, these type of teams, that's why veteran teams that are confident in themselves, they know how good they are. Both these teams have had success over the last few years. They're going to be there at the end of the season. There's a pretty rich history, recent rich history. We've seen it on this field in one of the game 163s. We were here. It was great. Fascinating as will tonight's game and the rest of the entire season. For Jeff Passan, Buster Olney, Tim Kirshen, and Mark Teixeira, I'm Carl Ravage. Thanks so much for watching us. It is time now for first pitch. Matt, Jess, Alex, and Buster. Well, Ravi, the car the calendar says mid-May, but the wind and cold blowing in off the lake say otherwise. On a chillier Mother's Day than many of us can recall, it's a battle atop the NL Central between a pair of regional rivals as the Chicago Cubs play host to the reigning division champion Milwaukee Brewers Sunday Night Baseball presented by Taco Bell. Well, tonight the Cubs wrap up what's been a thrilling homestand, one that's included three walk-off homers in the last five days. Jason Hayward started it with a big one on Tuesday. The following night, a 3-2, 11-inning victory delivered by Jason Hayward after Chris Bryant started it on Tuesday. And then it was Wilson Contreras yesterday, ending a long, wet, cold afternoon with a 15-inning bottom a half homer that sent Cubs fans those that remained home happy as a result the Cubs have reclaimed the top spot in the tough closely contested NL Central with Milwaukee just a game off the pace and there have been a number of contributors to Chicago's winning 11 of their last 13 none more important than the suddenly red hot Chris Bryant who with this swing a week ago tonight on Sunday Night Baseball seemed to flip the script on his season. It was a rough start to 2019. Brian has suddenly found his power stroke here in mid-May and perhaps this, as Alex Rodriguez mentioned at the time,